Hello. Uh, this is a new software that you can use for your CNC machines, and I wanted everybody to get an idea of how you can use the software. So, you'll see on the right hand side is actually a webcam of my CNC machine, and on the left side is the software. Now, the software is going to be unique in that it does not know it does not need a somebody that can draw the parts anymore. What we can do it now is actually just go ahead and do use the machine to cut certain kinds of patterns and shapes out without actually actually having to draw anything. So let me explain to you some some of the sections of the machine. This icon here on the left is a status indicator indicating the status of the machine. This work position is the actual coordinates of the machine in the work coordinate system that's selected. This is the machine position based on the machine position itself. And this over here is the status indicating what mode the software is in. Now the software has several modes and the modes I defined on the keypad so that I can use the keypad to change the mode and do various things inside the mode based on those changes. So let me go ahead and connect to the machine here. You'll see here it says all I have to do is click on the big icon and click on connect and it will go ahead and connect and you'll see this this says connected idle status. It also shows it down here, connected idle status. So that's to give you an idea of where the machine is at and what it's doing. You'll also see here in the log um, what the machine is doing. You can also, um, this box is normally default to ignore status. You can also see the status if you wanted to. And you'll notice that I connected and my machine is actually set to homing, but one interesting fact is that my machine is set to homing, but my software can actually, you can close it and open it again. And as long as it wasn't doing anything at the time that you closed it and opened it again, you won't have to rehome the machine. So that's kind of a cool feature. So let's go ahead and look at this. This is to actually send the homing command, obviously. These are to control its accesses. This you can actually go to, but the go to is in millimeters. So always remember that the go to is in millimeters. So you'll have to remember, you'll have to go based on your work position to determine how many millimeters to move to your go to position if you need to. All right. This over here is a large mouse that actually makes the mouse big so that you can see it better on the screen. It's a little bit harder to click on things because the the position of the click is kind of in the center of the mouse. It's not on the upper edge anymore. But that's an option. This go to zero is the go to zero for the Z axis only. And this go to zero XY is for the XY axis only. I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, I'm going to move the Z axis up because it, it's not quite high enough to clear everything here. Okay, I'm pretty close to the top. I don't want to get any closer. You'll notice here the machine position. The default pull-off is 5 millimeters on my machine. So I'm actually just beyond the 5 millimeters. I don't want to go any further because I might hit that limit switch. When you hit the limit switch, it will air out. And at that point, you will have to rehome the machine. So that's just an FYI, something to keep in mind. All right, so I moved that. And let me go ahead and return to XY0. Okay, you'll notice the machine went ahead and returned to XY0, which is pretty close to the edge of the project. All right, and let me show you the, the keypad here. I have a wireless keypad. You can actually use a wired one or a wireless one. Um, I changed, I mapped everything to use this as the mode key. And once this is mapped as the mode key, you can go ahead and double click it. You have to do it two times rapidly. When you do, you'll notice this icon over here changes to mode select. From mode select now, 
I have number one is to jog that's the default mode number two is to set a point number three is to go to a point number four is to probe and I might add some additional functions here but I haven't quite uh, figured out what I wanted to do with those just yet but that's just to give you an idea so right now I'm in mode select I'm going to go ahead and press the number three okay and you'll see that that changes to go to point over here now that that's go to point I'm gonna go ahead and change the I'm gonna go ahead and push um, one and that should go to point one okay now let's say I want to go ahead and change that so I'm gonna move the machine somewhere else actually let me get out of the go to mode so I'm gonna push this that goes back to jog mode as you can see here and I'm gonna go ahead and move over here somewhere and up there somewhere okay so that is going to be now my new number one position so I'm gonna I'm gonna save this so you do that by changing the mode and going to three I'm sorry changing the mode and going to two two is the save one so I'm in save mode and I'm gonna save mode uh, point number one okay now I'm gonna exit that mode I'm going to move the machine over here you can increase the speed by doing this all right you can decrease increase this actually controls the up and down see the up and down I'm gonna move it up just a little bit all right now I'm gonna save this so I'm gonna do this rapidly number two to save and I'm gonna save this as point two all right now I'm gonna go to point one number three point one okay so I went to point one now I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna go to point two but you'll notice I'm still in go to mode so all I have to do is push two you'll notice it moves X Y and Z all at the same time mode point one point two you can set points all the way up to um, six right now I might go to nine eventually but point one and two are actually important and the reason that they're important is because point one and two actually relate to the software as far as some additional coding goes which is those are the two points that we need to generate G code for slots for circles for boxes and we'll go over that in just a bit but let me go ahead and end this recording because it's getting pretty long